You want free V-Bucks? Come get the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Y'all know how to twerk? Yeah. Where's my butt? Hey man, good question. Can you tell me? What? I said, where are the brownies? Oh, I thought you said. Damn. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be unboxing the Game Face Battle Master AK-47. How am I supposed to open this? Oh, I guess like that. Here it is. Battle Master, AK-47. And bonus, it comes with a sling. You can see on the side, Battle Master, full or semi-auto airsoft rifle. All right, and here's the actual gun. Has a nice wood finish on it. Comes with the same BBs as the Beretta did. Comes with a sling just like the Uzi. The battery is actually very small. That's the piece you connect it to. And here's the charger piece where you actually connect it to the wall. All right, now let's get an actual look at the AK. The better look at it from the right side. From Game Face, made in China. It's a Battle Master. As you can tell, it comes with a safety right here, semi-automatic, and pull it all the way down full auto. It does come with a hop-up switch as well, so if you have it on the right, it is off, and you turn the hop-up switch on by pushing it to the left. It does not pull back. It is just for display, but it still looks very nice and helps the actual look of the gun. And on the left side, not much. There is a warning label, six millimeter indication for the BBs. Um, this is a fake sling connection right here. It does not come off. The real sling connections are on the left side near the sights and on the right side at the butt of the gun. The sight is adjustable. So all you have to do is pinch these two buttons on the side and you can slide it down. So if you slide it all the way down, the sight comes all the way up and you can just adjust that as needed. So you can put it about halfway or pull it all the way back if you want to put it all the way down. I love that wood finish on the gun, as you can see on the back of the handle. So as you can tell, the wood is like hollow. It weighs about three pounds, but it feels very light. On the box, it says that it's three pounds, but Honestly, I don't even think it weighs three pounds. It feels way lighter than that. It is 34 inches long, so it is pretty long. That's what she said. It does have a sling connection, like I said. I would not be putting on the sling because I don't personally wear a sling for any of my guns, but this is a sling that comes with it, you know, easily just hooks on. You can just like wear it around your back like a backpack, you know, if you're going to like the airsoft field or something like that. So this gun does shoot at 200 feet per second, which is a little bit slower than my Beretta that shoots at 300. But I will do a full video comparing this to this. They are both electric ARs and they both take six millimeter BBs. So that will be a good video to compare. So when putting in the magazine, all you have to do is angle it a little bit and then pop it in and it locks in. It is a high capacity magazine, which means open that trap door right there fill the BBs into the reservoir. And instead of pulling a spring down on either side, you actually just twist this wheel and it will sound like that until it gets tight. And when it gets tight, that means it's ready to shoot. So all you have to do is pop that bad boy in there. And there is no drop free magazine button. So with the AK-47, this is the mag release right under the trigger guard. Your thumb on the back of that, pull it out. You can get another mag off your hip. Pop that in, or if you're right-handed, works well with the left thumb, pop that out. The mag capacity is 430. So once you open that trap door, you can fill it up 430 rounds in this magazine. So that's what we're gonna do right now. It's time to load her up and shoot her. All right, so you can tell that the magazine is full. The battery has been charging for the four hours that's required. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off. So the battery is a little different with the AK. It's not anywhere up here or a foldable stock. It's actually in the back of the butt of the gun. So what you have to do is 
and it will give you a little bit of space and then you just pull it out and that's where the battery is kept. So what you wanna do is take this little wire and you connect it to your battery piece after you have charged it. Clicks very easily, fits nice, and you don't wanna crush the wires. So they got a little space where you can just slide that in, avoiding the wires and fit it in there very nicely. All you have to do is put this back on like that and slide it up and it sits there very nice. All right, so I got it on safety right here. I'm gonna pop it down one and just put it on semi-auto. So with this AK being 200 feet per second, the bullets are not gonna go through the box. It looks like they are piercing the front, but they're not actually going through. I've been hit about three times. They're bouncing straight back. So I might have to put on some eye protection for this one. Let's get back to the action. I'm gonna do a couple more semi-auto and then we're gonna switch to full auto. All right, so that semi-auto is very fun. You know, I got that trigger finger on me. Let's check out that damage and then we're gonna switch it to full auto. Yeah, I keep shooting in the same spot. It is doing a lot of damage actually, more than I expected at 200 feet per second. I am pretty close, but shooting in the same spot is tearing up that box, so. Definitely shooting my brother and my friends is gonna hurt a lot if I'm hitting them in the same spot. So when we're doing those challenges, I might have to, you know, give them one in the leg, give them one in the arm, space it out a little bit. All right, now let's switch that bad boy to full auto and let's get crazy. Jeez, that makes my trigger finger look pathetic and sound pathetic. This dog was tight. Sheesh, bro, this full auto is no joke. These goggles is dumb tight. The BBs are bouncing back very fast, so I might have to take cover for the next couple of shots. Damn. So it is jamming up a little bit. So, so it does jam up sometimes. Um, it was shooting full auto there for a second and then it jammed. But let's go ahead and check out the damage. All right, so as you can tell, a lot of these are just denting the box very strong and bouncing back. If you couldn't hear them bouncing back, hitting my walls in my room. And sometimes it looks like they're fully going through. So there's definitely some BBs inside. Let's see, one, two, three, four, about five, six, seven, eight. So about eight shots actually went through out of the however many shots I took. A lot of them were bouncing back, maybe because I kept shooting it at the same spot they were able to go through, but definitely looking stronger sometimes, sometimes just denting lightly. But overall, the fire rate is amazing. Other than a couple jams, the fire rate on this gun is amazing. It was shooting extremely fast way faster than I thought. Very fast with tap fire. It is very loud though. The full auto is even powerful enough to make the sling connection shake when it's shooting. For the most part, it is pretty accurate. When using semi-auto, I was hitting around the same spots and full auto, I was just shaking it and shooting so it was going up and down. But most of my shots were within the same spot. So, you know, this is pretty accurate for 200 feet per second. I'm definitely gonna have to take this out, you know, do some challenges with it, shoot my friends, do some BB gun wars. I'm also gonna be doing a video comparing this Beretta to this AK, so stay tuned for that. These are my two full auto ARs. Both of them are electric. Stay tuned for that. I'm also doing a BB gun giveaway at 20K subs. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. A PSN card, a BB gun, Xbox card, or some money on Cash App.
yeah so stay tuned make sure you subscribe check out my past videos i got a lot of unboxing videos as you can see and i'm going to be doing a lot more challenges with these guns so if you want to see people get shot challenges unboxing comparing guns and a lot more late content make sure you stay tuned i appreciate you for watching the full video and i'm gonna catch you guys next time